made some some announcements in the calendar. Something has been marked there. We also have lessons where the lecturers post the syllabus, sorry. And we also have lessons where the lecturers post lessons. We have the calendar. This is just for potential. So calendar is there to show the activities that have been marked and the lecturer can add more activities. For example, if you want to add an online discussion here, I can add an event here, you can call it, uh, you can name it uh, online, we can search there. Uh, we are saying it's, this is the one. So currently what we are doing is that we are adding members to this, uh, we are adding all the students into this worksite because it will be available for training. So, so far 19,000, so others are still being added. So maybe by the end of course of business today, all the students will be in this. So if you, if you are trying to log in and you cannot get through, just be patient by maybe midnight today or tomorrow morning, and do your test exam. So you can see the, the, the number of students have been added here. Maybe you can just pick one here. Yeah? So what will happen? I want to show you on the side of the student what you, what the student will see. So we, when you. So when the student logs in, you will see something like this. So membership, once you click membership, you will find all the units that you have registered. You registered for January, April, there. If you never registered, then this is done. Then, of course, the other, other obligations that may be required, once they are fulfilled, like cuts, they will appear here. So, but then for now, we have that the sample exam which we need to practice. So next week we will be loading the the, the the or by weekend we'll be putting the, the units that we registered on this portal so that you can confirm that all the units are available. Then the other thing is that uh, once you start the exam, for example, if if they, the exam that I want to do is the sample one, I will click that. Then this the work, this is the work site for that whatever exam that I want to do. Then I'll go to test and quizzes. Then I get the practice exam. Practice exam. So once we got the practice exam, the first thing that you get there is a notification saying that this assessment is due on this date. So, for example, if it was due today midnight, it would appear it's due on today Wednesday at 12 a.m. or 12, 11.59 p.m. Then the other thing is that it tells you once you click begin assessment, you have three hours to complete this assessment. This is what I said in the beginning, is that, that uh, if you, if you start your training, if you start your exam at six, then plus three hours, you must finish. It will be submitted when that time has expired, regardless of whether you have answered all the questions. So that, that is very important for students to note. The other thing is that you can submit this assessment and, and, and limited times. Because this is a sample exam, you can submit the first time, you can do a second time, Unlimited because it's for, for, for practice. But the real exam will, will, show, will tell you that you only have one submission. But we are saying if multiple submissions are out, answers from previous attempts will not be available within the assessment during the subsequent attempts. And your highest score will be recorded. But for this one, we are saying is the only one attempt. Then the other thing is you need to honor the honor pledge for it before you can begin. And once you click on the honor pledge, 
the system will work. Of course, you say that it says I will neither give nor receive aid on this assessment. So that is the honor that Fred, uh, that's available there. So once you, once you have agreed with that, if you disagree, then you cannot begin. So you one you have to agree, and then begin assessment. Now remember our exam was three hours, so it has started counting. Yeah, three hours going downwards. So that is the time that is remaining. If you are afraid, you can hide the time remaining. If you want to show, you can show. So that one it keeps track of the time. So we are saying. If, for example, you open that and then you start doing other duties in the house or you leave it like that, because it, this, this time is the time in our server. So it has to, to continue counting until three hours, then it will submit whatever you have done. So if you open and you don't do anything, it will submit nothing. The way it is. And once you go to submit again, it will tell you you cannot submit. However, if you encounter problems, in the course of your exams, which are justifiable, in a student, the student portal, we are going to we are creating a, a form where you can submit your claim to to the exams department or to the academics. Then they can look at your case, they evaluate if it's a genuine case, then they will advise you on the next step. Now there are those who are who are preparing for 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 supplementaries. So they also have to register and make sure they have fulfilled whatever they're supposed to fulfill, ensure that they did previous cuts for those exams, for those who need to appear in the in the in the final in the final as a assessment platform. So then the instructions are there, the university examinations for the year. Then we also have uh, this the, the school. We have the department and the, the paper code and the title and the instructions are answer all questions in section a and any other two questions in section b that makes out of 70. so that is very clear you answer all just two sections section a and section b then you click next so you get the first question first question is telling us draw a well labeled diagram of a human heart then, because this is a fire approach, we are saying you, you, what you'll do in this question, you'll take a piece of paper. This is section A, because it's compulsory. You'll draw the diagram of the human heart. Then you'll take a photo of that, 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 uh, that paper, or you scan it, you have a scanner, make sure it is well visible. Then you upload the file. Assuming that the file is the one here, I upload that as long as it's not more than 40 MB, then click upload. That is question one. Remember, if you have more than one document for the same question, then you can still upload another one by clicking, by choosing another one. Maybe you have done page one and page two separately. You can you can still upload, but once it, it your once you choose, you have to click upload for it to so that now you have those two files. That is question one. You click next. You get a, a, a question is telling us, list the four common symptoms of COVID-19 infection. So you will list them. This one doesn't require to attach a document. So you will come, you activate the rich text for editor. Then you can come and list your Your, your symptoms. The symptoms are fever, a bit cough, don't know, difficulty in breathing, example, difficult, difficulty in breathing. That. Then you go next. It's, it, this editor saves automatically. So you can, if you, do, if you don't want to go to the next, you can save. But you can, when you go next, it saves automatically. Remember, you can still go back previous and maybe add something else. Maybe headache. That. 
and it will save. Then you have question number three. This is a mathematic question. You are told to if that is that is a function there, then you do it. You take your, your, your full scrap or your piece of paper, you do your your, your mathematics, then you choose. For example, if that is the, the file, then you upload like that. If it has more than one page, the same. Then you proceed to the next. This is a, an essay question. So you come and activate the TDH text editor. We say here is a, uh, it's talking about communication. It's a communication script question. So I don't know. I'm just uh, relevant. Like that. So you can uh, you can have it. You can have that and click next. We are still in section one. So we are number five. This question one. Uh, is there like a biology of question? Hemodiolysis means the big cleaning of blood. I don't know. Like that. This is a multiple question. Then we are now in section B. In section B, we are supposed to answer any two questions from this section. Any two from the post before. You see, we are, in, we, are, we are in number six out of nine. So there is number six, number seven, number eight, and number nine. So you are supposed to answer two questions. So you come here and click uh, answer uh, you look at the first question and you find it's a bit difficult you can go to the next one you see this one is okay you can do that attach the document because it's a file upload then upload that then you go to next uh, evaluate the fundamental so this one has two parts this question has a and b and C. So you come here, you activate your rich text format editor, you you, op, you go to the first question there. You give your answer there. This one you can so it doesn't have to be bold. You can go to question B, part B. You can make it bold. So then you can have the answer here. The answer doesn't have to be bold. So this is a, you can have your answer here, like that. And then you can have C. That. So this one can take as much as possible. So you just need to scroll. And as, as I said in the beginning, you don't have to worry about saving. The system automatically saves. But uh, so you then you can have your answer. Like that. Then uh, we proceed with that question. We find now question number nine is not very friendly. We can go back previous and choose another question. So this one we already done. You can add something if you want. Previous, you can now see this one is maybe a bit friendly. Actually, we have done two. Sorry, we have done two. But you can you can go to and back, and you can also go to the first one. So we have completed our exam. We have done five questions. Section A, and we have done question, you can confirm here. We have done uh, question number seven and question number eight. Then once that, that, is, that, that has been done, you now, you can see our time here is still uh, counting. Our time is still counting. So 
we proceed now to to submission if you want to take change anything you can even go up to number one yes, I just return I think I've something so you can still go to continue because the time has not ended even if the power goes off and comes back you can con open and click continue we realize that uh, because of the, the typing aspects and those other logistics, if the exam was, was supposed to be two hours, you may find the exam has been given two and a half hours because of those things. Those other uh, scanning and all those things that need to be done. So we click next. We go back to up to the last question, the question number nine. If we, are, if we are comfortable, we submit. And we are saying, here we can add something. And then we proceed and submit for grading. Because now we are through with question number nine and we have not chosen it, we submit for grading. So the, the course, the unit name will appear there. Of course, it will also appear the title of the, of the, of the paper. And it's telling you about I want you about to submit this assessment for grading. Click submit for grading if you really want to submit for grading. Otherwise, click previous to return. So up this point, you can still go back. But once you click submit, you cannot go back to your paper. So that needs to be very careful. So you click submit for grading. Then once you do that, the system will confirm to you this is a submission number, which is unique, and the time it was submitted and the date and time again here. Then it's still telling you, you still have unlimited. But for the exam, it will be only one submission. So this one you can still practice. And once you click continue, you'll see that these are the submissions that you have done and you can still do another one. Even if so, if you, if you open, you can still begin another, another assessment. Yeah. And you click next. Like that. Yeah. So that is how the exam is done. So in case you do and you don't finish, the system is able to record that this so-and-so started and did not finish. That is the, 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 most, the most important thing about the, this system. So if I go back to the workspace for the administrator, I go to sample. The system is, we go to our sample. Then I go to that. I should be able to see the test and quizzes. And we have six people who have submitted. And there's that one person who is in progress. So this tells you the ones who have started. And you can even tell you the admission number of the one who have started. Then the name. So if you click here, it tells you the ones who have submitted. Now, one thing that I want to make clear is that if, for example, a, a question has A, B, and C, then or a question, a, you have a question, question number five and question six, you, you don't do them in the same page. You do, do, do you know, in different papers and upload as one. So every question you have to upload, if it's, it requires uploading, upload one question by one. Which is number five, number five, you upload. If it's number six, number six, you upload. We don't uh, do, the, do them all of them, then you upload as one document. No, it has to be uploaded per question because even the grading would be done per question. 